and welcome to our stream about the Holocaust Memorial Day 2013. Before we start the special live assembly, Mrs. Kennedy would like to announce that Scripture Union will meet as usual this Thursday at 3.30 in Miss Hannah's room. Everyone is welcome to come along. Mrs. Gilbert would also like to announce that anyone who hasn't brought in their money for the London trip has to bring it to Mrs. Graham in the office by tomorrow. There is also a reminder for Year 9 and Year 10 girls today netball practice from 3.30 to 4.30. And girls football starts today. Please meet Mr. Grieve on the 3G pitch at 3.30. On Sunday past was the day when we remember those who were murdered in the Jewish Holocaust in World War II. In the Jewish Holocaust, six million Jews and millions of other groups were murdered by Hitler's Nazi army. Also today on the show, we have a very special guest named Helen Lewis who was a survivor of the Holocaust and later moved to Northern Ireland. But before this, we are going to watch a video that will give us some information of some other things which happened to the Jews before the Holocaust in Nazi Germany.
now, Helen Lewis joins us in the studio. Hello Helen. Hello. So Helen, can you tell us a little bit about your life before the Holocaust? Well, before the Holocaust, I lived in Czechoslovakia and I worked as a dance teacher. My mother and my cousins were deported before my husband and I. So that gave us a few months together before we were then deported. Okay, and when you were deported, where were you taken to by the Nazis? When we were first deported from Prague in August 1942, we were deported to a Czech town. This was used as a ghetto town for us Jews. In May 1944, we were then deported to Auschwitz. This was the last of our time that I saw my husband. Then in August, we were, just, we were deported to a heavy labour camp. And what was life like in these camps for you? It was the worst experience I've ever had in my life and it was far worse than any of you will encounter. There were people everywhere you looked and most were starving. The hygiene conditions were very poor. The disabled, pregnant and young people stood little chance of surviving. Everything I owned was stripped from me and my head was shaved and a number was tattooed on my arm and we were made to wear pyjama-like clothing. I hear you have an interesting story of how you avoided forced labour for a little while. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, yes. As I worked as a dance teacher, I was given the chance to perform in front of the Nazis. Um, they gave me special rations to keep me fit and healthy and I was ordered to um, perform at some many Christmas concerts. And um, some people thought that this was God's protection over you, but is this what you think yourself? Well, I still haven't really came to a decision whether it was a matter of timing or that God was in my favour. All I do know is that two weeks later and I would have died. Okay. And then, what happened to you after the war? Well, I had a friend in P Prague and he found my name on a Red Cross survivors list. And we married in 1947. We moved to Belfast and I worked as a dance teacher and I even taught Mrs Gilbert. Oh, and why do you think yourself that people, young people, should remember the Holocaust? It's really important that young people understand the brutality that was forced on millions of innocent people so that they can do their bit to prevent hatred and discrim discrimination today. Okay, thank you very much, Helen. To finish our assembly, we will now watch a video clip from the official Holocaust website. Thank you for watching. The strongest communities are the ones that respect difference. Differences in ethnicity, in gender, in sexuality and in belief. In the way we look and in the way we think. Respect disappears, those differences become targets. And communities change beyond recognition. Remember. The Holocaust and genocides destroy communities and millions of lives. On Holocaust Memorial Day 2013, reach out and make connections with others and help put an end to injustice, hatred and genocide.